welcome to another fabulous edition of Studio 10. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Roxanne Wilder. Jerome Richie is on assignment, but we have a very familiar face joining us today, the lovely Lisa Castellino. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Good morning. Look who it is. <laughs> Lisa, you're no stranger to the show. You've been on, my gosh, we were counting back four years as a performer, obviously singing. So does it feel a little bit different right now? It, it does, because I'm not, you know, as comfortable, I guess, when I'm just have to chit chat and talk, especially when the cameras are on. But I'm so happy to be here. And I just, I, you know, I love this show. It's been very supportive. And so I'm glad I can give back a little bit. And well, you so. are here today, but undoubtedly you'll be back before we know it's singing again. So tell us right. the latest. When, when can we see you perform next? What's going on with your fabulous singing career? Well, the CD is out. I think I was here right before it released. And my music video is out for, uh, is out on the menu. And you can get the CD on iTunes and on my website, lisacastling.com. But this weekend, I'm performing on Friday night, 4th of July. I'll be at Picant in Hyde Park from 7 to 9. On Saturday, I'll be at the Benoit on the front porch from and 6 to 9. Yeah, I'm there every, I'm for every, every Friday, weekend. every other Saturday. It depends. Okay. I kind of shake it up a little bit for the summer. And then on Sunday, I'm doing a brunch at Chicho and Water in South Tampa on Howard. So oh, from 12 to 3. Lisa, so, I couldn't weekend. help but notice when you came in this morning, oh, yes. you have some beautiful, can we look at these nails? Can, can we, we get a good shot of these nails? This I've got fourth of, I, ooh, see, I've got see, fourth I was of July thinking now. this was for Team USA today when they played Belgium, but this is actually for Fourth of July. When they beat Belgium. Yes, when they beat Belgium. We're going to yes. be very optimistic about that. These are my Fourth of July fun summer nails. Now, did so. you? How did you do this? Did you? Do oh, this I didn't do this. No, I didn't do this myself. No, I saw it on Pinterest. You know how they have yeah. those pictures and people want to recreate it and nailed it. Well, she definitely did. My nails. What a cute idea! Did. So, wow, wow. Yeah. So you were all ready for this. Fun, weekend. right? You're ready for today. Very good. So we have a great show coming up today. We're going to be talking about an entrepreneur in just a moment. But speaking of which, don't you feel like being an entrepreneur, that's become such a large part of your actual business, even though you're a singer and that's really what you do and your talent, but you have to also be right. an entrepreneur. You know, I never considered, I was just telling you, I don't consider myself an entrepreneur. Well, I do now. But I didn't until someone called me that and they said, well, Lisa, you know, you, you book majority of your gigs and you, you market yourself and you promote yourself and you started this Catalina Entertainment. So you, you are an entrepreneur. And I was like, I am. That's, right. you know, that's what yeah. it takes nowadays. No matter it's if a mindset. you have a great talent like you right. do, you still have to go out there and market yourself. You do a great job on Twitter. You're on Twitter. Tell us your Twitter address. It's at Lisa Castellino. I love Twitter. It's so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. You do a good job yeah. with it. Thank you yes. so much. So you're at Lisa Castellino, and then what about, obviously, Facebook? And are Facebook. you on Instagram as well? Instagram is Songbird. Instagram is Songbird0821. Songbird 0821. And I just, I just prepare everyone. It's, it's mostly my dog on that. So, but that's okay. <laughs> why wouldn't it be? That's what, that's what social media is for. It is. It's fun to share our pets on social media. Well, we were talking about entrepreneurs. Do you dream of creating an app or launching the next social media hub or becoming a CEO of a Fortune 500 company? Well, one icon wants to remind girls that anything is possible. That's right, anything. Studio 10 reporter Vincent Hunter has more on a movement that will have your daughters reaching for the stars. For 50 years, entrepreneur. <laughs> okay, I'm having flashbacks to Christmas morning. I know, it's we're great. opening our Barbies. These are so, okay, something tells me, Lisa, that you had a ton of Barbies growing up. You know what? And, and that's a compliment. You, you think I, I would, but I, I didn't really. I didn't. I, Cabbage Patch Dolls was the thing. Oh, okay. So, you know, every girl, every every girl on my yes. block had a, had a Barbie, and one girl had, like, the Barbie Dream House and the Ken doll and the horses right. and, and everything else. But uh, So, did you know that Barbie is just a nickname? Do you know what her real name is? Yes, I do. It's, isn't it Barbara Millicent? Roberts. Roberts, yes. yes. Named I know. after the founders of Mattel, their daughter. Wow, okay, so great. So her, her first outfit, what color do you think it was? Pink. It's a tough question. Is it, was it pink? No. Black? No, right, it's a trick question. It was black and white. It was a little black and white bathing suit. Uh -huh. And and to date us all, it was $3. That's $3 it. $3 for a black and white bathing suit, yes. So also... She and Ken got back together, which I can never keep up with their relationship. It's very tumultuous on and off relationship because apparently <laughs> they break up, they get back together, but they got back together in 2011 on Valentine's Day. Where, of course, did they announce it? Facebook. On Facebook. Yes. I was going to say, you know, Darby's on LinkedIn. She's on LinkedIn. She's on right. LinkedIn, and we are linked get together. And, and this makes sense because she's an entrepreneur. She needs to be on LinkedIn making those business connections. Exactly. And you know what? Her, she's had over 150 professions. Did you know that? No, I didn't. She did. Well, and that's her, remarkable given the lack of mobility in her elbows. <laughs> her, most, her most recent now is Dream Incubator. Okay. Which is supposed to spark that entrepreneurship of young women. If right. you can dream it, you can achieve it. 
Very good, very good. Uh, how many, okay, we're gonna count, one second, three Barbies were just sold in that one second. Really? Yes, more Barbies are sold each year than actually babies are born. So, very That's popular amazing. little toy here. Uh, you can keep her, Lisa. I want to. Yes. This is, you can keep her. <laughs> it looks like a prototype. Yeah. What do you think? It does. It does. It matches you. We're going to take a quick break, but up next, a behind-the-scenes look at some movie magic. That's right. We'll take a look at some of the custom...